everyone. I put together a brief tutorial that goes over some of the basic arithmetic functions in Excel. Um, and it's also uh, an introduction into pivot tables and how you could uh, use those as well as if statements. So uh, sounds like a lot, but it's broken down pretty simple here. So here we go. Um, so let's say you have a shopping list here. It has various items with these unit prices and you cat quantities here and you want to figure out um, basically quantity of 10 apples at two dollars each what does that equal so that's easy to do in your head but obviously if it was a little more complicated it might be different so we start by saying equal and we click on the first cell where the quantity is we add asterisks for multiplication and then we click on the second cell that we want to multiply and we get our extended total. So I'll repeat that here on the next line. So plus that. Okay. So once you've uh, put a formula like that in, um, you also have the option of just copying and pasting it throughout right here, which is pretty easy. Um, the formula just translates down. So let's say you want to know what your total is here. On your shopping list, you would do equal sum, start parentheses, and then just drag the area of all the uh, numbers that you want to include in your total. And then boom, you have your uh, total right here. So here's another tip. If, um, if you want to just quickly figure out um, what the total is, but you don't want to note it anywhere on the spreadsheet, see how I've highlighted that? If you look down here in the bottom right, shows you your sum, count, and average. Um, okay. Um, so, let's add... Let's just say this doesn't really make too much sense, but let's just say that you wanted to test the item description to figure out if um, it says apples. And if it says apples, you want it to say yes here. And if it says anything else, you want it to say no. So you could do that with the if statement. So you do equal if start parentheses. And then you get uh, little clues which parameters you need to include here. Um, so the first one's in bold, and each of these are separated by a comma. So logical test is basically what do you want to figure out? So we want to know does the value in this cell equal the word apples. So we're going to say this equals, and we're going to put quotes, apples, and then we separate um, the next parameter with a comma. So if, if this value does e equal apples, what do you want it to do? We want it to say the word yes. If it does not, so another comma, we want it to say no. So in this case, it says yes. And I'm going to copy and paste it all the way. And you can see that we got apples here. And it says yes. OK. Um, so now let's do a pivot table. So let's say we wanted to figure out how many apples did we uh, have on this list in total. So basically, we wanted to go here and add these up and say 17. And then let's say we want to figure out how many oranges as well. So this is a common task that you run into with um, you know, doing work in the business world. So we're just going to highlight this area right here. Insert pivot table. New worksheet is fine. Then we grab the item description. So now you see apples only appears here once. Oranges appears once. We grab the quantity and change, we click the little down arrow in this bottom right corner where it says values, and then you change it to sum. See now it shows that we've got 17 apples in total. We flip back here, let's do 10, 7, good. Um, let's see, oranges, saying we have 15, but oranges, 12, oranges, 3. Very good. 
good. Okay, so hopefully that helps to get started with pivot tables, if statements, and arithmetic functions. And uh, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments.